Hey, what's going on? Ogo Pogo here, back in subsistence. How you doing? Good to have you with me again. Thanks for stopping by and checking me out, hanging out with me for a little bit. Do appreciate it. So we're going to go out and do a little bit of looting today. After last episode, I did have that little bit of daylight left and I went through some stuff in the bins and came back out. I just got down to this level here and there was a chicken right there. So we got ourselves another McNugget back. Which is cool. I got some uh, iron cooking and the generators going. We got a lot to do here to get ourselves prepped to go after Chubby. So it's going to take a few days to get ourselves ready to go. I got a really cool suggestion from uh, Karun on these things. Remember I said I was going to make a crate to put upstairs to put the seeds and the fertilizer and stuff in? Well... He suggested what he does is he butts them up against the ceiling a little tighter so they pop through and then you got access to them from upstairs and <laughs> I thought that was brilliant like I've been doing that everywhere I'm popping stuff through walls everywhere but just didn't even cross my mind to do that up here that is brilliant I love that so that's exactly what we did so I kept this with the seeds and stuff and uh, we're gonna just stick with with that amount of uh i got three more of the uh water or the canteens in the fire there so we got i'm gonna stick with that that's enough canteens for now but how cool is that just to pluck the veggies and then come and toss them in here that uh, that's just brilliant loved it so that's exactly what we did i did switch those railings around and it didn't make a difference so it's still it's still got that little bit of a gap but it's it's not that noticeable it's really not bad at all Actually, I think it actually looks a little bit better, to be honest with you. It is still a gap, but it's, it's, I think it's a lot, it's a lot better that way. So that might have worked. Another good suggestion. Thanks, buddy. All right. So I got a couple lock picks made up. What I'm going to do here real quick before we go is just grab this guy. I made this to put the seeds in, but I love that idea way better. So we're going to use this. It's not going to be a waste because we're going to use it for a drop box. So I'm just going to put it here for now. We'll put our fishing gear in there. And these logs, I'm going to go uh, stoke the fire and then we'll throw the rest in the one under the table there. Got a couple, uh, what do you call it? Fire bricks in there. All right. I should be topped up. I'm good to go. Let's head out. There are some rogues up ahead here, so we've got to be kind of mindful of that i don't know how big the camp is but we'll have to find out we'll see i don't want to waste a bunch of ammo at this point we're trying to get ourselves prepped and ready to go after chubby so i do kind of want to conserve a little bit get replenished because we spent a lot of resources fixing that place up but i'm it was well worth it i'm really happy with it and i appreciated all the positive feedback i got on it in the comments yesterday that was sweet Appreciate it. All right. Let's mosey down this way. I think the rogues are a little further up. Almost at the brink of the hill on the corner going down into the big lake there. So we'll keep an eye open for them. I'm not going to gather any wood today. I'll do one off, off camera day of running and grabbing just some wood. Because i got to make up a bunch of planks have planks and nails and cordage with us so we can build our foundation in our storage crate when we get up to the other end there. I don't want to build it and carry it with us. It's better just to have the resources because there's a good chance we'll find more nails or find more cordage or planks. So might as well do it that way. All right. Now I think the rogues are just on the other side of this rock again. I don't think we're going to go up that way. I think I'll take a bit of a distance and see if I can see what's going on over there. I don't want to get too close and then find out there's four or five when we get swarmed and then be forced into a a big battle where we're going to use a lot of a lot of ammo. Okay, there they are. So we got one, two, three... Four. Yeah, I think I'm going to back off. I think I'll back off. 
That's a lot of ammo. Maybe a major butt kicking. We don't need that right now. Oh, look what I found. See, it paid off. Turn the other cheek and you get paid off. Well, that's stuff we need. Most definitely. I'm happy with that. Absolutely. That was worth turning the other cheek. Well, we didn't officially turn the other cheek. We just They were eyeing me up, though. They were sitting there staring at me. I know they saw me. I think that's the wise thing to do. I mean, I, I like to mix it up with them, but there's certain times you just got to restrain a little bit. And helps you obtain your goals a little quicker. It's survival, man. But it is fun to mix it up with them. I gotta give you that. I love doing that. It is fun. After we're finished with Chubby, we'll go we'll mix it up with some rogues because they keep the gear collection going. As long as we don't run into too many camps like that one where we got absolutely nothing. That was crazy. All those fire starters. But I guess they're pretty valuable too. That was it's it's kind of funny, but because it was pouring that day too, but that's what made it funny. Yeah, I love that. Let's hope you're getting some good weather. It's been pretty uh, decent here. I haven't, can't complain. Can't complain. It got hot for a day or two there, and it's kind of cooled down a little bit sitting around, I don't know, about 20 degrees Celsius, something like that. So it's not too bad. It's tolerable. Hope you're happy and healthy and all that good stuff. It's tough times, man. Got a black bear up there. Oh, there's another ammo over here. Yeah, you better walk away. Oh yeah, I made a bunch of arrows too. So we're good on arrows for a bit. Yeah, we're up over 20 now. And that font is hard to read sometimes. Especially the red ones. Thought I saw something over here for sure. Guess not. Oh, what's up on that rock over here? <laughs> Come back for you in a minute. Right on. More of what we need. Look at all the sinew in that one. Wow, that was crazy. Seven sinew. Some more SVT, some more 44. Some copper, protein bars, glass panels that puts us back up to eight. That's awesome. I'm happy with that. And an iron to boot. What a rock you are today. You rock, man. <laughs> that was awesome. So, what are we sitting at? We should maybe think about getting back and dropping it in our box or something. Go over this way. Awesome. Good day so far. And the weather turned out beautiful. I thought for sure it was going to rain. It looked like it was going to rain. It rained a little bit during the night. Let's 
So I figure work on getting everything prepped. Cause you gotta keep building power in between each one. They all sit in between like 80 and 100 mass. So letting it build, we'll crank it up when we have to. I don't really have the nails and stuff to do the quarter ceiling panel for the 10 mass, but I've got uh, some lock or some uh, pickaxes sitting there ready to go. I think probably about 25 or 30 mass sitting there. But anyways, I figure by the time that she hits level 10, we'll be ready to roll. And then we'll take a break from the animal housing for a couple days. So we can uh, run up there. Because what I want to do when we're up there is hit the lake. A lap around the lake. Because we're down to about 12 pearls, I think. And I wouldn't mind hitting up Ortastic like a couple times too. To see what we can gather for iron. Because we're really low on iron. And it's going to depend on that too, the time frame of getting ready, because there's some things that we need ingots for, right? So. I might have to take a break from the lockpicks for a couple days. Let's see if we can get up on this rock here. And get up from this side, but that wolf is coming. Well, this side's got a bit of a more of a walk up slant. The other one you gotta jump. He's still coming. Is he around? Where is he? Not seeing him. Very right behind that tree. Or is he still standing over by the tree? Did oh wow, a couple shoddies, that's cool. Is that him over there? I guess it is. I thought he was following me for a bit there. I thought I heard a second growl. Let's go down and check this ledge. There's usually some pretty good ore down on this ledge here. Hey, chicken. There's a crate. Yeah, I might do like a day off camera or something like that to get some wood gathered in that. Like I said, carry some planks and nails and cordage and stuff with us. I'm looking forward to it. I always like raiding Charlie. That's fun. Right on. Get some ore today, some iron. All right. Well, got something out of it. It's always worth hitting up. Oh. Are you down here? There's another one over there. I'm kind of in the middle. Hey, I got to thread you guys. jog down there. Oh, and a third one. Wow. Wolfsville. Wolfsville. I'll run around and get some cordage get, well, while we get in our exercise. Make it a two-for-one deal. It's all about being efficient. coming he is I can't believe I did it I had to test it is that another one no that's a zinc I'm not gonna worry about that one that one's a little high up scrap Yeah, I don't want to get... Is that more zinc? Shit, I could use that too. Yeah, he's still on me. Not going to worry too much about it. Iron is more important right now. Although zinc is never, you know, any less important. But I'm not going to piss around with a wolf right now for that. Hmm. 
Another one. Man, they're everywhere today. They're out in full force. I think he only growled once, and there's nothing up here anyway. All right. Another zinc, too. Sweet. What if I go back for this one? It's still there. And we'll start heading back, I think. Pretty successful run again. Oh, he's still hanging around here, eh? Ah. Forget about it. Let's start heading back. Yeah, I'll get around you. I should have had a bite to eat. So we're going to do a little bit of Mythbusters testing over the next several episodes as well. There's another thing Karen brought up that I thought was very interesting and really uh, logical theory. With the oven spitting out that rotten meat, like, we're kind of wondering, like, okay, when he goes out, he gets the meat back ASAP or cooks it right away. He doesn't give the timer much of a chance. So, you know, whereas like, you know, I even notice it myself. Sometimes I'll, I'll start getting something early in the afternoon. And by the time I get home, I've had it for quite a while. Right. So what we're saying is that you, you know, you craft your recipe. And as soon as you hit that craft button, it disappears out of your inventory. However, the timer doesn't, you know, it still goes it's come out of the fridge and now it's in there and, and does it expire at that point which i thought was pretty logical made a lot of sense so we're gonna test that out i'm gonna be especially careful with like the well like our chickens that's probably the best thing to use right because i'm positive i've in the past i've had brought meat come out just with when uh, cooking the roasted chicken. So we're going to test that out and see. Test that theory out and see. We're going to see if we can get to the bottom of it. But may not find an answer. It might just be a glitch, you know. But well, that makes perfect sense. So we're going to test it out. So yeah, he thought it was... He suggested we, it was like a Mythbusters. I said, yeah, that's hilarious. All right. Stirring up some activity and there's nothing around to stir them up for. A little barren tonight. That happens. Can't complain about the day. A couple lock crates. Pockets are full. Bulging out again. I never complain about that. It was a fantastic day. Weather was beautiful. Our base looks awesome. See, it picked up morale. A little more positive now. It's not like, ah, I gotta head back to the base. Because it's dark. You know? Now it's like, hey, it's middle of the night. Let's go out loot. <laughs> well, not quite. Not up here, man. It's tough to do. It's tough to get too far away from the fire with up in this area where I'm at. A little high up. But worth it. it, it well, I'll, be, I'll see what happens come winter. I may not be saying it then, but... There's definitely going to be days we're going to be kind of constricted, for sure. I'll take a little look around on our way back. Still got a little bit of light. Let's see if we can find a few more resources. Not 
much anything out tonight. I might have been blown by a couple things too. That's possible. how many there are left up there because there's usually some animals up there too so I'm sure they've been into a couple battles I only see a couple but I didn't zoom in either yeah we're full I don't want to be getting into it now for sure for sure nah that was a smart thing to do it's fun like I said to do but when the time is right oh another lock crate nah I'm out of picks anyway Right by our old tree there. It's a great spot, man, if you're out this way. Stay out here a couple nights, something might spawn for you. There's an ammo. It really could be, uh... Carrying like three lock picks with us. It just seems like every time. I still I don't want to jinx it, so I'm just keeping it keeping it the same, keeping what we've been doing. Might have to take a breather from it for a bit though. There's some iron up here too. Go away. Holy la use Raven's suggestion. Oh no, I hit delete by mistake. Ah, son of a bitch. What an idiot. She didn't suggest to do that, that's for sure. Uh, now it's probably too high, right? Yeah. Okay. Hit the right key this time. What a dummy. Watch, we're just going to get up there and it'll despawn. <laughs> Can't believe I deleted it. Now I gotta make another one. Ah, well. Yeah, good suggestion, Raven. It was a good suggestion. I just screwed it up. It's these old eyes. Okay, well, I will make another one. <laughs> what a dummy. Yeah, I don't think I got any kicking around, so I definitely gotta make a couple or get, make some more. All right. Well, I'll do that. I'll put this stuff away. And uh, get some stuff made in between. Might do another episode of some looting. And then we'll be uh, almost ready to head down there. All right. So thanks very much for taking the time out of your day to come and hang out. Do appreciate it. As always, just be safe. Look after each other. See you on the next episode. Take it easy.